Established in 1721 by French engineers, Jackson Square was originally known as the Place d'Armes, where significant French ceremonies and parades took place. However, it wasn't until after the Battle of New Orleans in 1815 that the square was renamed after Major General and later 7th President of the United States, Andrew Jackson. Today, it's a place where locals and visitors alike converge to experience the essence of New Orleans. The iconic St. Louis Cathedral with its majestic spires overlooks the square, creating a timeless backdrop for the lively energy that permeates the area. Each year, Jackson Square attracts millions of visitors who come to bask in its beauty and absorb the palpable history that resonates through its cobblestone streets. From artists showcasing their talent to street performers entertaining passersby, this square is a microcosm of the vibrant culture that defines the Crescent City. Standing in the shadow of Jackson Square, the mighty Mississippi River beckons just across the street. One of the quintessential experiences is a riverboat tour, a journey back in time along the flowing currents of this iconic waterway. These vessels, adorned with intricate details, pay homage to the grand steamboats that once plied these waters, carrying cargo and passengers into the heart of the South. As the boat gently navigates the river, breathtaking views of the city skyline can be observed, along with the lush landscapes that line the banks. It's a chance to witness the city from a unique perspective, gaining insights into the historical significance of the Mississippi in shaping New Orleans' destiny. Some riverboat tours even offer brunch cruises, providing mouth-watering dishes while floating along the Mississippi, a perfect blend of gastronomy and history that captures the essence of New Orleans' joie de vivre or joy of living. Speaking of food, we can't take a tour of the Big Easy without diving into its culinary wonders, and one staple in particular that comes to mind is the seafood boil. A cherished tradition deeply rooted in the Cajun and Creole cooking heritage, the seafood boil is a feast for the senses and a testament to the Gulf Coast's bounty. The fresh seafood of the Gulf ranges from plump shrimp to succulent crab legs and crawfish. Andouille sausage, corn on the cob, and potatoes are also thrown in, all of which are generously seasoned with a blend of Cajun spices. It's an indulgence that brings friends and family together while celebrating the rich abundance of the waters that surround the city. And it's not just about the flavors, it's an epicurean experience that excites every kind of delightful sensation. The best part of the seafood boil is in the communal aspect, the laughter, the cracking of the shells, and the shared satisfaction of indulging in this wonderful mess of flavors. Throughout the year, New Orleans hosts festivals and events dedicated solely to the seafood boil, where both locals and visitors revel in the unique culture and camaraderie that accompanies this beloved tradition. Of course, no exploration of New Orleans cuisine is complete without indulging in the sugary ecstasy of beignets. These fluffy fried pastries have become synonymous with the city's culinary identity, offering a taste of sweet indulgence with every bite. Beignets have a rich history that dates back to the French colonial era, bringing the essence of French cuisine to the heart of the French Quarter. Translated from French, beignet means fritter or donut, and these delectable treats have certainly earned their place in the sweet pantheon of New Orleans. The beignet making process is an art form in itself. Pillowy dough is rolled out and cut into squares, then deep fried until they puff up into golden airy perfection. The pièce de résistance is a generous dusting of powdered sugar that crowns each beignet, creating a delicious disorder that's as much a part of the experience as the pastry itself. When it comes to enjoying beignets in New Orleans, one name is synonymous with this sweet treat, Café du Monde. Established in 1862, this iconic café has been serving up beignets to locals and visitors alike for generations. The combination of fresh beignets and a cup of chicory coffee creates a culinary experience that's both timeless and uniquely New Orleans. The hauntingly beautiful Myrtle's Plantation is a majestic antebellum estate, shrouded in southern mystique and tales of the supernatural. Nestled amidst the lush landscapes of St. Francisville, Louisiana, the Myrtle stands as a living relic of the Old South, with a history as rich and complex as the Spanish moss hanging from its ancient oaks. Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, the Myrtles has seen centuries pass, bearing witness to the ebb and flow of Southern life. 
Its distinctive features from the stately columns to the wide verandas reflect the grandeur of plantation architecture that defined the era. It has gained a reputation not only for its historical significance, but also for the persistent whispers of the supernatural that echo through its halls. Tales of ghostly apparitions and eerie occurrences have made it one of the most infamous haunted plantations in the United States. One of the most enduring legends centers around Chloe, a slave said to have had a complex relationship with the plantation's owner. According to local lore, Chloe's spectral presence roams the grounds, and her image has been captured in photographs adding to the mystique surrounding the myrtles. Many visitors claim to have encountered unexplained phenomena during their stay at the myrtles, from strange noises to sightings of apparitions. The plantation has become a magnet for those seeking a glimpse into the ethereal, offering guided ghost tours for the daring souls who wish to explore its haunted history. Beyond its haunted reputation, the Myrtles is also teeming with Southern history. The sprawling gardens and opulent interiors transport visitors back in time, allowing them to envision the opulence of plantation life alongside the hardships endured by those who were forced to work the land. The enchanting Oak Alley Plantation is a southern gem perched along the banks of the Mississippi River. With its iconic alley of stately live oak trees, this grand Greek revival mansion is a testament to the antebellum South, with its charm drawing visitors into a captivating journey through history. The crowning jewel of Oak Alley is undoubtedly its awe-inspiring quarter-mile alley of 28 live oak trees, each over 300 years old. Their limbs, gracefully draped in Spanish moss, form a majestic canopy that leads visitors to the grand entrance of the mansion, creating a scene straight from a southern fairy tale. Built in 1839 by a wealthy sugar planter, Jacques Roman, Oak Alley is a prime example of Greek Revival architecture, boasting majestic columns and a symmetrical layout. Its name pays homage to the breathtaking natural gallery formed by the ancient oaks that frame the estate. As you step into the mansion, the opulent interiors beckon you to a bygone era, with meticulously preserved period furnishings and artifacts providing a glimpse into the lives of the plantation's former residents. Guided tours offer a rich narrative that delves into both the splendor and hardships of the antebellum South. While Oak Alley exudes a sense of Southern hospitality and grandeur, it also acknowledges the complex and troubled history of slavery. The plantation features reconstructed slave cabins, providing visitors with a somber reminder of the individuals who worked the fields, and an opportunity to reflect on the harsh realities of plantation life. In recent years, Oak Alley Plantation has made strides to offer a more comprehensive narrative, acknowledging the full spectrum of its history. Educational programs and interpretive displays aim to foster a deeper understanding of the plantation's role in the antebellum South and its impact on the lives of those who called it home. A Mardi Gras, French for Fat Tuesday, has been a cherished tradition in New Orleans since the city's founding in 1718. Rooted in the French and Spanish carnival traditions, it evolved into a unique and flamboyant expression of the city's cultural diversity. The heart of Mardi Gras lies in its spectacular parades featuring elaborate floats, vibrant costumes, and spirited marching bands. Crews, the social organizations that organize these parades, invest months of creativity and effort to craft unforgettable experiences for the revelers. The soul of Mardi Gras pulsates through every corner of the city, from the grandeur of the Rex and Zulu parades to the intimate and eclectic celebrations in neighborhood streets. The signature throws, colorful beads, doubloons, and trinkets are coveted treasures sought after by all. Beyond the glittering floats and lively crowds, Mardi Gras is a celebration deeply intertwined with New Orleans history and culture. The masked balls, king cakes, and the vibrant costumes pay homage to the city's diverse heritage. Mardi Gras in New Orleans isn't just a local affair, it's a global phenomenon. With millions of attendees annually, it stands as one of the largest and most iconic celebrations in the world. The sheer scale of the event, drawing attendees from near and far, speaks volumes about its magnetic allure. Just beyond the city's lively streets lies the enchanting world of New Orleans swamps, where mystical landscapes and fascinating ecosystems come alive. Swamp tours offer a unique escape into the untamed beauty of the bayous. 
gliding through the murky waters aboard airboats, each journey is a captivating encounter with the vibrant flora and fauna that define the swamp's character. Here, majestic alligators lurk beneath the water's surface alongside the graceful wading birds that call the swamp home. From egrets to herons, the swamp is a haven for diverse bird species, creating a symphony of calls that echo through the cypress trees. Shaped by the resilient Cajun and Creole cultures that found refuge in its hidden waterways, the swamp served as both a source of sustenance and a sanctuary, offering a unique way of life that has endured for generations. Many swamp tour operators are deeply committed to the conservation of this delicate ecosystem. Through educational programs, responsible tourism practices, and partnerships with environmental organizations, they strive to ensure the bayou remains a haven for wildlife for generations to come. Guides, often with a wealth of knowledge about the swamp's flora and fauna, play a crucial role in these efforts. Their passion for the environment shines through as they share insights into the delicate balance of the ecosystem and the ongoing conservation initiatives. Beyond its ecological significance, the swamp is steeped in history. From serving as a refuge for pirates and outlaws to playing a role in Native American cultures, the bayou holds stories that add layers to its mystique. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep exploring those destinations worth wandering.